So uh, other things that can cause breakouts or affect uh, the wellbore stability are chemical effects, and I just mentioned one here. This is actually, um, well, the, the easy thing for me to say is that it's outside the scope of the class, but the truth is it's also outside the scope of my expertise. I, I don't, you guys probably know more chemistry and chemical engineering than I do, um, being that my background is, is in mechanics. But the idea is that um, the, the water activity, which is like proportional to the inverse of the salinity, can cause, uh, and you basically have osmosis that can cause the, f and, and I guess I should say the water activity ratio or, or the water activity of the, of the drilling mud in relation to the pore fluid, right, can cause osmosis such that the water in the drilling mud will move, want to move into the rock, therefore causing the pore pressure to go up or the rock to expand, and therefore causing the effective stress to go up and exceed the uh, strength of the rock. Okay, so this does have some effect, and you know even in Zoback's book he doesn't go into a lot of detail. There's, I think, the last uh, page of chapter six. Uh, discusses some of this stuff if you're interested. There's also some actual reactive effects in that, uh, you know, the, the chemicals in the drilling mud can react with the rock and cause it to be embrittled in some way, and, and this, this would cause it. Now, th again, th this is sort of outside the scope of the class because we're, that really is not, that's more of a reaction chemistry problem or failure due to embrittlement. It's not really a mechanics or uh, in mechanics in the sense of being caused by stress. So, 